This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Click It or Ticket. Time to get our AC Nation on. We got two, yes, two new FBI style warnings for Blu rays and DVDs for. Anyone who's actually legally purchased a Blu-ray, you get to sit through, <laughs> according to a recent article in Ars Technica. It, it's crazy, right? Two new copyright notices, one to warn and one to educate. Six major movie studios will begin using new notices these weeks, says Ars Technica. So along with the traditional FBI warning, legitimate Blu-ray and DVD owners are now made to needlessly tolerate additional warnings from ICE. <laughs> yes, the U.S. Department of Immigration and Customs Enforcement is now the apparent successor to the FBI when it comes to hampering your access to your legally purchased Blu-rays and DVDs. And that ain't it. And there's a second notice, right? Indeed. This is great. Again, from the Ars Technical <laughs> article. The second notice shows the logo for the National Intellectual Property Rights Coordination Center, which involves no less than 20 different U.S. government agencies. At 10 seconds of unskippable content per warning, that's now at least 20 seconds of your life just <laughs> lost to the ages forever. You can't get it back every time you want to watch a movie. Uh, personally, I'm just pretty glad that it's easy to bypass that nonsense, at least if you're uh, dealing with the PC playback world. I think it's time for us to remind and, and refresh everyone and show them maybe next week how to take your legitimately owned Blu-ray content and move it to a format where you no longer have to watch warnings from government agencies that are supposed to be protecting us from terrorists and, and doing other useful things <laughs> like inspecting containers and, and protecting the borders. Let's go to a happy place now. Oh wait, it's an election year and studios <laughs> pay a lot of money. Yes, Samsung's bringing, oh, it's a happy place. Samsung OLED TV. They want, to, they want to be the first to have an OLED TV out on the market, and the race is really with LG. LG announced theirs at CES. Samsung says, not only are we announcing it, we're going to say it's going to be out in the second half of the year uh, for a price of $9,000. So, second half of the year, we're talking next month. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, Samsung also has another piece of technology also coming out that's, as of yes, unannounced. Uh, just some other new display that they haven't even talked about yet. So we're looking at LEDs, OLEDs, uh, HDTVs, and, mystery and HDTV. the mystery HDTV. Oh my, it's going to be pretty cool. It's exciting. It is, but OLED's coming. And, and before anybody, in, a month. in case your heart <laughs> stopped at the idea of a $9,000 uh, OLED HDTV, remember that the first one that hit the market, Sony's, which was like 11 inches and cost three grand. It did. It would seem that 55 inches for nine grand is a much more reasonable price per square inch. Totally. It's an early adopter <laughs> price, and that's probably the exact right. list price, too. Things will get cheaper over time, and if you're going to buy that first gen product, expect to pay about that price point. So there you go. <laughs> All too often, a home theater in a box not doesn't just have the receiver, the amplifier, and the set of speakers. It might include stuff you don't need, like a Blu-ray player. Worse yet, a Blu-ray player built into the receiver or docked for mobile devices you don't even own. Enter the Denon DHC 1513BA home theater system, which is a little cleaner and crisper. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It really gets back to the basics mm -hmm. in terms of bundling an entry-level audio-video receiver with a quality set of 5.1, in this case, Boston acoustic speakers. Uh, basically, you're talking about a, prod, a product here that's 600 bucks online. This kit includes Denon's AVR 1513 AV receiver with the Boston Acoustics MCS 160 5.1 speaker system. So we're talking about 75 watts per channel for the speakers. The powered sub that it comes with offers 100 watts of power. Four HDMI inputs, uh, three in the back, one up front. Also, you get your one HDMI output to your display device, like the TV we currently have it connected to. AM, FM radio, two-year warranty. Not bad for 600 bucks. I was surprised because the, I'm going to say it, these look cheap. Okay. And then you pick them up and they have heft. They do. They for have some massive drivers for, for a satellite speaker. Totally. Unless size. they're filled with just lead or sand or something. <laughs> they, do, they do have a nice weight to them. Uh, one thing missing on the back of the speakers, mm -hmm. I would say, would be just a standard mounting uh, hole that they have for, right. for something that looks like, like you would have for a camera mount, really. And although they have mounting adapters, I'm sure you could buy for these particular speakers, a lot of days now you get an articulating mount that you can put on a wall or mm -hmm. on a ceiling that you can just attach the speaker to. It'd be nice to have yeah, that on here. Instead you have the picture hanger nail hole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to drill a hole, there you go. Okay. Initial impressions, really, you're looking at a product here that this AVR doesn't incorporate anything like apps, multi-room audio support, no HDMI auto switching or mm -hmm. any analog video inputs worth really talking about. Uh, basic HDMI switching here. It's unlikely that your ports were verified for compatibility and robustness. Uh, usually that comes on higher end products. Mm -hmm. Setups, uh, setup was fairly standard. We're talking standard speakers that use real connectors so you can use standard speaker wire. Uh, the one downside to this was that there was no automated speaker setup like the Odyssey Multi-EQ tech that Denon offers in some of its more expensive models. Some of its slightly more expensive models. Definitely, this is right. uh, 
from any model pretty much on up from this one, you're gonna get some form of the Odyssey uh, room equalization product. So that helps not only dealing with things like how far away this, right. the speakers are from where you're listening, it also deals with leveling the volume and some other cool tricks as well to help room, improve room audio performance. And, and more importantly, it does it, you, you, normally, you know, for, for a little bit more money, you get a microphone, you get Odyssey Multi EQ built into the box, you set the microphone down where you're sitting, you hit a button, weird noises come out, and it automatically configures everything. It's a beautiful thing. You're gonna talk about why you would've <laughs> liked that in a minute, but. <laughs> I ended up doing it all by hand using this sweet graphic user interface that's coming straight out of the 80s, but you know, <laughs> You know what, it got the job done. Right. I sat around with my nice sound level meter, went through every channel, measured the distance to my speakers, did it all by hand, and it really, after it was all said and done, measuring it all out, excellent dialogue response and mm -hmm. speaker performance overall. It created a nice, a nice sound field for the listening environment I was in, and things like bass response and, and legibility of dialogue mm -hmm. scenes too once it was set up properly, was really good. Now, compare this to the out-of-the-box performance I had with LG's Home Theater in a Box kit we looked at a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I would say LG's out-of-the-box performance had just a, wa a warmer, wider sound to it. Right. But once these were properly dialed in, I was getting similar performance of that. And energy efficiency for an AVR system. Actually, I was pretty appreciative of the fact that when I muted the amp, you could hear it click off and reduce mm -hmm. the power to it, go into a standby mode. Same with the powered sub as well. Whenever a signal wasn't going to it, it, it cuts the power to it. Basically nice. help it improve energy efficiency where it can. Uh, the bottom line though, really, for the Denon DHT 1513BA home theater system, it delivers a sweet sound, a surround sound experience to pretty much anyone who's willing to get a little hands-on with it. <laughs> uh, for entry-level audio system, it would have been nice if this system had basically been optimized for this particular set of speakers. I really kind of had to go through to set things like, where's the frequency response at, and where should it be? And otherwise, a pretty good bundle, though, considering that this is a pretty decent set of uh, Boston acoustics. I was, I was really liking it. Now, if you wanted a home theater system that automatically adapted itself to a particular room environment, I'd consider another option, something with a little more oomph in that, that either the Odyssey mm -hmm. technology or another manufacturer's uh, calibration setup system. It's kind of funny, because you're in the process, after tooth home theater in a box packages, you've basically, your existing surround sound system is dead to you. <laughs> My old home theater in a box gets done. I. I I've been listening to a lot of lossless audio on Blu-ray movies mm -hmm. lately, and the difference between the standard audio track and something like DTS HD Master Audio right. or Dolby True HD, it is night and day, and it really encourages me to go out and get a better sound system to take advantage of that. Keep us posted on which receiver you get. I will. You guys are gonna know first. <laughs> but hey, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Don't die stupid. Listen, people, it's an effort to save more lives on America's roadways. State and local law enforcement are gonna be out in force nationwide May 21st to June 3rd, 2012, teaming up to crack down on motorists who are not buckling up. Put your seatbelt on. Seatbelt use saves thousands of lives across America every year. In 2009 alone, seatbelts saved an estimated 12,713 lives nationwide. Motorists are 75% less likely to be killed in a rollover crash if they're buckled up. Look, people, you should buckle up every time you go out, both day and night. Law enforcement agencies across the country are prepared to ticket anyone not buckled up. No warnings, no excuses. People, we want you here watching the show next week. Click it or ticket. 